friends, welcome to Science With Me. My name is Dr. Erica with Rosie Research, and we are gonna make some fun LED paper circuits. You can find all the stuff in our YouTube channel and our paper circuits playlist. Today, we are gonna work on this little helicopter. It's a very simple paper circuit. It's a great one to start on. You can find it at our Patreon site at patreon.com slash Rosie Research, and I am gonna walk you through how to do it. So you're gonna need some scissors, you'll need some non-conductive tape, masking tape, clear scotch tape will work, duct tape will work as well, and then you need some conductive tape. So I have some copper tape here. You'll need an LED, I have all different types of colors, and then a coin cell battery. I like to use the CR2032s. Those always fit in our projects. There are different sizes and they will work as long as they are three volts. And that is all we need to make this project. So the first thing we're gonna do is we are gonna start by laying down some copper tape on these two lines right here. Now when you take your copper tape, you can rip it with your hands, you don't need scissors for that part, and you're gonna wanna get it started with your fingernail. You gotta get right between the copper tape and that white paper backing that it has. It can be tricky sometimes. And you just have to be patient as you do that. All right, so let's see, there we go. Sometimes once it gets started, it gets a little bit easier. Now once you get it started, we're gonna lay it straight on to the paper as we peel it. So we're gonna peel it and stick it onto that paper. If we don't, if we peel your whole piece of copper tape, you're gonna have a lot of frustration because it's gonna get really curly bop like that. So I'm gonna grab another piece of tape. We'll get that started again with my fingernail. As you practice it, it'll get a lot easier. The nice thing about this is there's no bins in here. So you're gonna stick it straight to the paper and you're gonna press it on down. You're not gonna go outside of that circle, but you need to be inside of it, all right? And we're gonna press it down as we go. And you're gonna come all the way up right until this red pinkish dotted line, all right? And then what you can do is you'll put your thumbnail down and you'll just pull up and that will rip it for you. Now it's really important that this is one single piece here if it ripped somewhere in the middle, you're gonna to need to redo it with a new piece. Now I'm gonna take this piece and I'm also gonna do this on the bright yellow line up here. So again, I'm going to stick it down right where I want it to go. I'm gonna go into this gray circle, not out of it, and I will put my thumbnail down and just pull up. And then I like to press them down with my thumbnail. All right, that is all of the wiring that we have to do for this, which is quite lovely. We're gonna fold it in half along the blue lines. I like to, that's like the hamburger style, I fold it so I can still see it. So you're gonna fold it with the drawings on the outside. All right, just like that. And then we are gonna cut along these green lines. You only need to do it on one side because they are matched on both sides. So cutting on one side, we'll cut it out on both sides. So let's cut these guys out right here, just like this. Now you wanna do the best you can. It's okay if it's not perfect. It's not going to ruin your project, all right? All right, so there's half of it, and you can see how it cuts out, sort of mirrored on the other side, which is really nice. And folding it in half is what really allows us to have super easy two straight lines of copper tape, which is quite nice for us. All right, so we've cut it around the outside of this, but there is a piece right in here. All right, so we wanna cut that green line up to this dotted line, so we're not gonna cut into that copper tape, just up to that dotted line, just like that. All right, so that is the trickiest part of it. So now what we're gonna do is we are going to add in our LEDs. And before I do that, I'm actually gonna bend along this guy. One I'm gonna bend forward, and one I'm gonna bend backward, just so it sort of opens up the spot that I'm gonna put the LED. All right, so now let's find our LEDs. Whenever you're using an LED, you wanna use it, check it on your battery. So there's only one way to make the LED light up. If I have both legs on top or both legs on bottom, it doesn't light up. You'll notice there's a long leg and a short leg of the LED. The long leg always goes to the part with the writing. So if I put it on the part with the writing here, my LED lights up. This is a beautiful rainbow LED. I love these. It gives your circuits a little more fun. If I flip it over and put the short leg on top, 
you'll notice it doesn't light up. So it's really important that we look at our circuit and it says right here, short leg LED. That's the one that goes into the gray circle without the orange. And so that piece, I'm gonna straddle the paper, one LED leg in the front, one in the back. And I'm gonna make sure that the short leg is on this copper tape right here. I wanna make sure that it's on the copper tape, so not over to the side. And I'm gonna use some of my non-conducting tape. So that might be masking tape or scotch tape or duct tape for you. And I'm gonna tape this leg down, all right? Just like that, I'm gonna put it down, I'm gonna smush it really, really good. Make sure it's on top of that copper tape and it's really secure. I need to do the same thing for this side. So even if you have to bend the legs a little bit, that's totally fine. I'm going to also tape that leg in. So both legs do need to be taped in. All right, and now is sort of our moment of truth. We're gonna see if this works. We're gonna fold along this purple line, but we're gonna fold up here so that those two circles sort of meet each other. And then when I put this battery in, I'm gonna put it in so I can see the markings. All right, that's really important. I can see my little plus sign. And when I put it in and close it, I get my little LED that lights up. Now you have a couple of choices. You could put a paper clip here. You could also put a binder clip here, or you could just use a piece of tape. But first we want to make sure that right now, if I do this, my battery falls out. So I can't really drop this and see how it spins. I need to get that battery in there. And what you'll do is you're gonna just tape it in along the edges. So I still need to see some of the metal of this battery. And that's gonna be really important. So if you're using clear tape, make sure that some of that metal is still exposed. Not just that you can see it, because with clear tape you'll be able to see it no matter what, but that it's actually open and available for this copper tape to touch the top. All right, so I have that there. And what I can do is either pinch it shut with a paper clip, binder clip, that type of thing, or I can just tape this down like that and it will stay on for me. Let's see, there we go, it should stay on. Oh, mm. yeah, so sometimes when that happens, what you can do, I'll show you a little trick here. If you're very careful, I'll peel this up. And what we can do, make sure that you don't rip your copper tape right there. But one thing you can do to help it as you tape it down is you can actually roll this one more time like that and then add a piece of tape that goes straight onto the battery, which will help it maintain contact. Just like this. And then I could tape around the battery to make sure that it maintains contact with the bottom piece. So tape like this. Now this is if you don't happen to have that binder clip available. If you do have a binder clip available, I think that's always sort of the best choice Otherwise, you're sort of trying to create a little bit of pressure using just the tape. I'm having a little bit of trouble. I think a binder clip will probably work a lot better here. Let's see if we can add a little bit more tape. There we go. So here we have this little guy, and then when we drop it, it's going to spin for us, which is a lot of fun. You can climb up your stairs. You can drop it down. You'll see it spin. You can add decorations to it. You can see how it does add an extra weight, change this, and um, maybe you add some streamers, maybe you make it yours in some way, which is always amazing. Thank you so much for joining us, and I hope that you enjoyed this little helicopter LED project. See you next time for some more fun paper circuits. Bye, friends.